What the? F What's going on there, boy? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Fire in the hole. Moving 101. Not bad. <laughs> Very nice. Great success. I was really hoping it would blow up, but you know. <laughs> hey everyone, Joel Hansner, and today we are at Soda Jerks Burgers and Bottles in Edmonton, Alberta, to do their burger challenge. So this burger challenge consists of three burgers that are on their menu. Their biggest burgers on the menu is the Barnyard, the Doris, and the Big Jerk, uh, basically which is a chicken burger and two massive beef burgers. The one having like a whole pound of beef on it. The other one having bacon and all other kind of stuff so you have 30 minutes to complete it if you do you get the meal for free you also get a t-shirt and a $100 gift card which is super awesome besides the burgers you also have three orders of fries that's probably about six or seven pounds so uh, let's go eat it Hi everybody so here we are with the challenges so we have the Doris burger the big jerk and then the barnyard burger so they all look really really good um, they ground all their beef here so we asked for the burgers cooked kind of like an ish medium so hopefully it's like an ish medium medium well about as good as you can get in Canada so it looks really good though it's so overall challenge we figure is probably about six pounds maybe a little bit over um, we have over three pounds of beef alone plus three orders of fries etc etc so it looks really good very excited if we win we get the meal free we also get a hundred dollar gift card um, about Four or five people have beaten this challenge in the last like 10 years over various locations. We don't have a record, but it looks really good. So Scott, ready to do some eating? Absolutely starving. Yeah, it looks, it looks really good. Like it looks very tasty. So looking forward to it. Hi everyone, so here we go. We're about to start. We got timers here. So we're gonna have 30 minutes to eat all this. Looks like a lot, but what can you do? So with that, let's get started. We'll say the count of, one count down, Scott, maybe five. Right, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. We're eating. And we did find out a record actually. Record's about 24 minutes, I think they said. So, got an egg on this burger. Nice and hot. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, and as we said, we're at Soda Jerks, which is a burger restaurant in kind of the west end of Edmonton. Um, so, really glad I got to do this challenge, as both Scott and I had actually been looking at this challenge for years. Um, I had been planning to come to Alberta and come to Edmonton for a couple years, and every time I looked up the challenges that were available, this was always one that I wanted to try. So it's about six or seven pounds. There's been something like a hundred attempts and only a handful of winners. So of course we're hoping to add a few more winners to that kind of uh, daunting looking list. Um, but essentially again, three massive burgers, the Doris, the Big Jerk, and the Barnyard. So the Barnyard is basically just a chicken burger. The Doris is basically a really big thick burger with like eggs on it. Um, it had grilled cheeses for buns and it was kind of like a, I don't know, like a big thick bread. And then the Big Jerk was pretty much just like a big huge stack burger as you can see. It's kind of like two double burgers stacked on top of each other. They all came with an order of fries which although the fries were very, um, they were nicely seasoned, they had like a seasoning salt on them, they were very well done. And let's just say that led to some complications when eating them. So you do, as we mentioned, have 30 minutes to complete this challenge, and if not, the challenge is about $70. So it is quite a price tag, um, however, it's basically just like the prices of the menu items put towards the challenge. In fact, it's the Doris Burger, if you eat it, um, just by itself so you like buy the sandwich you buy the burger and you actually finish it so not even like an official food challenge but kind of in a way they'll actually give you a t-shirt 
So, I mean, in all reality, you could probably call it a challenge in itself, just you don't get it for free. Um, and again, it kind of just goes to, you know, speak to the size of these burgers when it has, you know, like, over, a, or when, it has, when a burger has a pound of beef on it, plus, like, fries and all these fixing and grilled cheese buns and stuff, you know, it does add some weight, you know, it is quite substantial for the average individual. Um, but of course, for us to get them for free and actually do the legit food challenge to get the gift card and everything, um, you had to eat all three of these burgers, all three of the fries in 30 minutes. So this place, um, besides the being a burger spot, it also specializes in like unique soda pops. So they had like a whole bunch of different kind of, I'll call them more like rare sodas. They had like pickle sodas, they had like ketchup flavored sodas. Um, like some really odd ones and of course just some more like less commons like Jones sodas, some dad's root beers, um, etc, etc. So, oh and not to mention they also had a lot of dessert items like different milkshakes, they had chocolate covered bacon and some interesting items. I love pickles so much I have them right at the beginning, I just can't wait to have them. But besides that, that's pretty much all the information I have to give you. Um, burgers were good. It kind of like tasted, how do I put this? I don't know, like, it tastes like a good burger. Like, obviously it was like fresh meat. You could tell it wasn't frozen. Um, so the burger quality was nice. Tastes were great. Um, did enjoy them for sure. Um, I had no again, complaints about any other items. The fries were a little crispy, as you'll kind of see. Um, but besides that, hoping me and Scott can get the win. Um, again, pretty massive challenge, especially with only like, let's say, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten winners out of over a hundred. So, at that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Um, of course, you know, dig into my good old ketchup there. And definitely tune into the end. We have some more shenanigans at the end of the video here that I think you'll really, really, really enjoy. But I do have to ask a question. So, are you a beef or are you a chicken burger person? Give me a comment below. I'm team beef. I love cows. I love beef. So let me know what you are and uh, let's get to the rest of the video. something funny. So we're about five minutes in. Um, I have just the grilled cheese from the bigger burger left at the bottom. I did them on my last burger and we got the fries. Scott is basically the same spot. Both killed it. Okay, so we're about 10 minutes in. Uh, I've got half of uh, the, the small burger left. Joel's got about an order, order and a half of fries to go. So we're uh, trekking along and we're almost there. So I will shut up and eat.
probably about 15 minutes, 10 seconds, something like that. So not too bad. Scotch is about to finish up. Just those fries. A little crunchy, a little, a little higher to the mouth. But the burgers were absolutely delicious. So we'll tune in, Scott finishes up, my battery's left to die. But at least, excuse me, got through the challenge, excuse me, with my battery pretty much alive. So it should make just the rest of Scott's challenge. So let's tune on in. I can taste blood. Mm -hmm. A few holes in my mouth. And I have 2% of my battery, so it's about to cut out, but Scott's literally just finished up. Last bite. I have another battery I'll pop in, but I might as well use the last 2%. So Scott's gonna finish up. He's gonna be 1830, I'm calling it right now. So that everybody, Soda Jerks, really cool spot, really cool diner thing here. They have all kinds of cool sodas, milkshakes, etc. There you go, Scott's done. 1830, right on the dot, I called that. So uh, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll give you a little bit more uh, info and et cetera, et cetera, maybe after. Um, if I didn't already show you the place, I will. Really cool looking spot, enjoy the challenge. So for this, we get it for free. And we also get a $100 gift card each, which is pretty cool. For, it's supposed to be for the next time we visit, so hopefully you can use it, well, I don't know, maybe we'll use some of it today, maybe we won't. But everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Of course, don't do what we do. And at that, say happy with the hungry and happy eating. <clears throat> and here's our bill. So we lucked out. And here's the t-shirt. Megan Spinner. Anything on the back? There's the sponsors. There you go. Sweet t-shirts, y'all. Alright everybody, so we're back at Soda Jerks. Uh, we came for some dessert. Um, so they have a whole bunch of milkshakes and stuff. So I'm gonna get some milkshakes. You can add everything from like bacon into your milkshakes, like, you know, Captain Crunch, some really cool things. So we have $200 to spend, so let's just spend it. Let's just send her, so they say. Full send. Full send, yeah. Okay, so we submitted our order. Um, I got um, five milkshakes and two orders of chocolate covered bacon. Scott got four milkshakes four. And, a, and an ice cream sundae and an order of chocolate covered bacon and order mini donuts. So I'll show you what it looks like. So I don't really know where to start. I got a uh, bubble gum, I got a strawberry, I got a chocolate and peanut butter with Oreo. I have a vanilla with Captain Crunch, so it looks like a bowl of cereal. And a butterscotch one, or butter beer or something, so. Beer, butter beer. Okay, yeah, so I didn't go through the ones that uh, Lots I of milkshakes. I got the Oreo here. Let's see, I'll just uh, Double Oreo. We've got a strawberry. Okay, uh, Mini donuts, chocolate covered bacon, double Oreo fill. Ooh, that's good. Uh, I've got a pina colada here somewhere. I'm assuming this, this one. This is my butter, butter rum, butter beer one. They're thick. And then I've got. Um, what else do I have? I've got the, the peanut butter and bacon. I'm really interested in trying that one. Butterscotch, very tasty, very thick. Three C's. Yeah, so what kind you got? Butterscotch, strawberry is it? Butterscotch, strawberry, bubble gum, um, vanilla with Captain Crunch, and chocolate peanut butter with Oreo.
It is cold though. Ooh. Ooh -wee. Thinking this is strawberry or bubblegum? Let's find out. Strawberry. Ooh, strawberry. that's sweet. Very sweet. That was right. Strawberry. Cherry. Try a piece of chocolate covered bacon. It's very interesting. It's very rich and just like bacon. Very salty. It's like cramp in my neck. And down. Bubblegum. Yeah, crap. That's a different taste than bubblegum. Try your bubblegum here. It doesn't taste like a bubblegum ice cream. It tastes like a hubba bubba piece of pink gum. Yeah, it does. Pink bubblegum. Yeah, pink bubblegum. Many donuts. More donuts, right? <laughs> And my battery's basically dead, so I just tried the remainder of these two milkshakes. So again, vanilla with Cap'n Crunch. So imagine it's going to taste like cereal. Oh yeah. It's basically like a bowl of cereal with a vanilla milkshake. Definitely have the bacon chunks in there. All right. Yeah, very salty. And I'll try this peanut butter chocolate Oreo with five straws in it. Ooh, that's thick. That's rich. Woo, that's sweet. Not bad. I just have so much like brain freeze though, continual brain freeze going on. So yeah, that's about that. I think I've had my fill. Probably finished the milkshake, but that's about it. Brain freeze. So anyway, hope you enjoy. I mean, I enjoyed the first, first 75%. First three shakes? Yeah. First three shakes. Three was good, five was too many, so. Yeah. Well, you did have the bacon, chocolate covered mm. bacon, and you looked at the donuts. <laughs> That's right. So, until next time, everybody. Until next time.